just four remain with the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament 7x7 seven seven Ages. Let's take a quick look um, at the new board. Well, it's the same board. It's the same board I've been looking at for months now. Um, but it's new because there's it's going to be a lot emptier, right? We can already see without Milky's empires here in Europe and in Asia, this whole whole space is bare and it's it's pretty much looks like it's runs for the taking right now. Runt, I, I didn't I didn't mention it last time because I can't tell you every all the I'm trying not to give you all the minutia of what's going on because then I'll never get done. And plus then you might fall into seven by seven sleep. Um but she put a she made a treaty between the Germans and um Cowboys English here, so she really has no threats in Europe right now. Now there are going to be some new empires starting. Um, if you recall, uh, Cowboy, he lost his Plains Americans, so he is he's is going to be starting one. So Flush kind of did him a favor, I think, by getting rid of those because now he's going to be it's his turn right now, so he's going to be the first to get to use that valuable black counter set if he so chooses. So that's going on. New World, we see North America is the Portuguese, South America is the English. The Portuguese are kind of interesting because they were just kind of, I mean, if you can see, you can always tell how much stock, stock someone's put in their empires by how many of these culture cards they put down. If you look at the Portuguese, Flush has put nothing into them. Um, and yet they've become valuable scoring scores for him practically in spite of what he's actually tried to do. He was just trying to use them as a bit of a beat stick on Cowboy, kind of get some quick points so he doesn't go under, but now he's finding himself that maybe I want to hold on to those guys. I don't know. If we look at Northeast Asia, we're seeing uh, interesting tension here between the Mongols and the Japanese. I don't know if they're going to have any more military confrontation, but um, just because it involves boats and no one wants to deal with that. Um, and then also Southeast Asia, we have these guys. Oh, and we have this one lone Japanese fellow here in Sichuan, which I think I forgot to score that he was there. I did. I don't like to go back, but if it's something simple like this and I remember, I'll do it. Um, so let's take, I guess now we're looking here, let's take a look at our glory track. It's gonna be Flush battling for his life again with Cowboy, I mean, not a lot has changed. I mean, the the only difference is Melky's no longer there. What I wonder is if either of them can catch Giraffe, and if Giraffe might be in jeopardy. Um, here is our elimination point, I think. No, 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 it's not going to be there. It's going to be here. Here's our elimination point, and then the final one will be here. Um, Giraffe's not scoring much. She's not scoring much. She might want to stop thinking about Runt and start thinking about her rear end. I know I've been thinking about that. We're seeing some nice continuity here as Cowboy has started the Ukrainians and indeed he chose the black counter set. They're right here in Ukraine. Um, if you recall last time the Russians, which were Melky's, one of Melky's final three empires, were also black. Um, so that's kind of fun. Uh, Ukrainians score on wheat as well as their homeland. So they're, uh, they're going to start off scoring two and if they can press this way I think they are in the proper age. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Um, they're in the proper age to score on these these wooded wheat areas. So they're and they also score in Europe. So I think you know it's going to make sense for there to be a little bit of a confrontation between uh, Cowboy and Runt. Runt, however, has two empires that might make her want to hold on to these papal states. We'll see. Um, if we take a look at the Germans, Germans have a couple culture cards. So that means. You know, Runt's putting some investment into them. Papal State's not so much, but she hasn't chosen for, to discard them yet. So that should be interesting. And for some reason, having one less person is making it go a lot faster. Maybe it's just the actions they're taking. There's not been large confrontations. We've had some confrontations. Uh, production was quick. I don't think it anyone produced, actually. Uh, trade in progress. Um, Zimbabweans... Got a tie with the Phronic Egyptians. Uh, Giraffe's sticking with that strategy just to, just to keep having the Zimbabweans trade with the Phronic Egyptians, try and take away their stuff, and also score points for herself in the process. Um, 
The Japanese, now they finally have a trading partner, which is good because they're about to go back into age one. Um, if they have any more tangles with the Mongolians, they could be in trouble. Uh, they had a tied trade with them. No, they lost their trade to the Mongolians, that's right. Yeah, the Zimbabweans tied. The Japanese lost, um, but they still got to move forward one. And that was helpful to the Mongolians, though. That brought them up into age five, which made them lose their awesome leader, which kind of helped them to conquer Northeast Asia so quickly. Or they didn't really conquer it. I guess they have spread out in Northeast Asia quickly. A couple maneuvers, um, and they mainly pointed to uh, a new kind of um, conflagration between Runt and Cowboy, which is kind of interesting. Um, the Papal States have spread out here. Uh, spreading out towards the, the Ukrainians, um, but also towards the Portuguese, which uh, Flush followed up by doing a kind of a defensive move to the, to the mountains as he spread out there. Um, the Phronic Egyptians, they moved out of, out of Africa. They're heading up towards the Phoenicians here, which has got to have Cowboy be a little worried. They're very thin, though. I mean, they still have all of these. They have the Zimbabweans, the Sudanese, and now to tangle with the Phoenicians as well. I think, honestly, Runt's getting a little bored with the Pharaonic Egyptians, and, you know, she can afford it. She's she's almost left flush again. She had lump, lapped him, but then he came back um, as part of the maneuver phase. Mainly the Portuguese, all they did was um, they spread out a little bit, but they didn't, they didn't really have any uh, counter depth in order to do it. Um, but they and Runt actually uh, went after the labyrinth. Flush scored two this time. He has three guys that he can send um, because Degrebski, she has a couple of henchmen. So that was very good for him. So that's going to cut back on Runt's lead. She had been scoring four every turn, but now she's only going to score two. So that's the news. And that is going to do it a really quick turn. Um, partially less people, but also I think uh, people are just kind of recovering and, you know, kind of rebuilding from all the struggles before. Not really rebuilding, actually, because there was, I don't think there was any production, but here's how it all shakes out. Um, Runt and Flush actually were both tied for our high scores. They both scored 13 points. Um, so we can see a real gulf happening between Cowboy and Flush. That's a problem for Cowboy, especially if he's going to be picking a fight with Runt, who's kind of our big dog. Um, big dog point-wise, I don't know that she ha has the most strength, really. She's got uh, decent cultural strength, and I think she's the science leader still, um, which could be a problem for her. Uh, she's actually going to move forward there. Because if she goes in here, a lot of her artifacts are going to go out of style, um, I think. I'll have to take a look at, again at what what she has. Um, artifacts like leader abilities are something that I, I've been forgetting to do a lot in the game. We're not really forgetting but not paying a lot of attention to. Uh, so that's that's hard on the people who have those things, these little, these minute abilities that, that could make a big difference. Um, but since I just, I, I can't remember it all. Or maybe I can but I'm just not remembering it all. I'm, I'm using my mind for other things instead. Um, yeah, so the, it's not fair. Real people multi game solitaire megatrim is never fair. Uh, but yeah, if she goes ahead, actually, she only has two artifacts that I'm seeing right now that I'm aware of. She has the forum and the paved roads. Yeah, so maybe not. Maybe that's not going to be a problem for her. Um, what else? Uh, giraffe scoring a bit better this turn. She got four. Uh, the Mongols. Scored, but I think I, I probably neglected to give them a point they should have gotten last turn. They're actually the, the oh no, no I didn't. I miscounted this time. They should only get one. Uh, I was thinking they had world three there instead of world two. They are um, third in the world in terms of land area currently, but they need to be second in the world in order to score. Mongols got to be, they're, they're in a bad place right now for their ability. They need to be beaten up on someone. And there's no one around for them to beat up except for the Japanese who are lower than them on the progress track. They need to beat up on someone who's higher than them on the progress track. But Asia is empty. And I, I'm afraid that this is going to be kind of how the game is probably going to be from here on out because I'm limiting people to three empires each. Whereas normally if you have a four-player game, what is it, like five? 
each or something like that. I think you get five. Uh, I, I don't remember. Um, you, they should have more empires, so the world should be more full. But really, this is working out well for me right now, um, just in terms of time and things. But we're going to, you know, it's going to be less of a, a tight thing, less of a small world. Um, and there's going to be more room to breathe, which will make for less less fighting, probably, um, which should also make it quicker. So maybe less dramatic game, but maybe a little clearer to, uh, to the viewer and to me, um, and probably will be quicker. Let's see what I think next time, though. I mean, we see some things heating up. It's time for me to talk about next time on The Real People, Multi-Game Solitary Return. Uh, cowboy. Runt, there's going to be some problems. Cowboy, flush, there's going to be some problems, right? Because Cowboy doesn't want to lose to flush after all of that. That would be really embarrassing. Um, and Cowboy still has the Phoenicians going for him. The problem is he tried to have them do Civilize this turn. He's just not getting any cards that he can burn someone up with. If he gets the right card, though, I bet you he's probably going to be taking flush down. Um, probably the Japanese and the or the Portuguese. I mean, the Portuguese... They're scoring five, the Japanese are scoring six. So, and let's see, can the Portuguese score more? They could if they started building some boats, which would directly compete with his English. Uh, Cowboys English are doing rather well. They, they have by far the most money. And they have a good amount of wreaths, so it'll be hard for someone to use that card that makes it so they lose all their money. I think they have more wreaths than flush. Not probably than the Pharaonic Egyptians, though. So Runt could use that card that makes him lose all their money, and that could, could damage Cowboy. I don't know that she wants to, though. Um, she did choose to go after Cowboy instead of Flush, uh, but mainly because he seemed like more of a threat to her holdings in Europe. I don't know. There's a lot going on. Oh, and then Runt's also dealing with Draft. So we have kind of like two triangles going on, right? Where we have Runt, Draft, Cowboy, Runt, you know? More like two V's, because I guess Giraffe and Cowboy aren't in competition. Oh, but Giraffe and Flush sort of are. Hmm. But I don't know if they, they might... Yeah, I guess it's in her interest to get rid of the Japanese there. I don't know if that's a huge priority for her. Um, hmm. And then our other one would be Runt, Cowboy, Flush. Or cowboys the apex or the verdicts that's worse for cowboy than it is for runt because runt's in a better position cowboy is in the worst position so to be in, to be going two on one is much worse for him than for runt to go two on one yeah we'll have to see there's it's fun next time and the real people will go solo for victor